So those were simple ways of solving the equations, how to solve these equations. Now we have the concept of word problems regarding simple equations. Say as I told, suppose I have 3 more than twice a number is say 45. So I say 3 more than twice a number is 45. So I have converted the statement that I have told in the form of a simple equation, linear equation. Remember why we call it a linear equation? Because if we try to represent it in the form of a graph, you'll get a straight line. So once we get this equation, we just solve it the way we had been solving equations and then we solve. So many more such examples we will come across wherein mathematical statements would be given, real life situations would be given. We convert them to a linear equation in one variable and then solve them and we arrive at the solution to that. So let's see what we have in the kitty. Okay. So the first one we have is sum of two numbers is 52 and their difference is 2. That means there are two numbers which on adding would give 52 and their difference is 2. There are two ways of solving it. If sum of two numbers is 52 and one number is x, x plus that number is 52 that means the other number is 52 minus x. So the numbers are 52 minus x. Now in this we have not decided which is a bigger number and which is a smaller number. Because we are talking about the difference. When you say that difference is 2, it means a larger number minus a smaller number. But we have not taken into account which the larger number is, which the smaller number. So we can take either this as a larger number or this as a, and this as a smaller number or vice versa. So we could possibly take this way, x, the larger number, minus the smaller number. Remember, do not forget to put the bracket because minus is common for the whole thing. Hence, we get x minus 52 and this difference is 2. Minus 52 minus of minus plus x and you get it as 2. x plus x, 2x. And here you have 2 and plus 52. So we have x, 2x is 54 and you have x is equal to 54 by 2 which is 27. And hence one number is x that is 27, the other number is 52 minus x that is 52 minus 27, 25. We can check it up and see 27 plus 25 is 52 and the difference between them is also 2. So this way we can solve. There is another way taking this condition. You can take the smaller number as say x. So the bigger number is going to be x plus 2. When you say the difference of two numbers is 2, it means that the bigger number is 2 more than the smaller number. So now their sum, that is smaller number x plus bigger number x plus 2 is 52. Right? So you get 2x plus 2 is 52. So we get 2x is 52 minus 2, 50. So x is 50 by 2 which is 25 therefore the other number x plus 2 would be 25 plus 2 27 so the numbers in any case are 25 and 27 another way of doing it is you can do by substitution check these two 17 plus 15 is 32 which is definitely not satisfying so this is out of question in any case 12 plus 10 is 22 which is definitely not satisfying. 27 plus 25 is 52. So it's satisfying the first condition. Now check the second condition. Is 27 minus 25 2? Yes, it is. So in this case, I, I, though I have explained both these, in this case, it seems to be a smarter move to actually substitute these values and find the solution for it. Okay. So our solution is going to be 27 and 25. And yes, the numbers are 27 and 25. Actually, we don't need this verification. We already checked up that the answer is this. Okay. Now, here we have the diagonal of a rectangle is 5 and one of its sides is 4 centimeters. What should be its area? Now, let's draw a small diagram. So, we have a triangle rectangle here. 
we know this particular angle is 90 degrees and this is the diagonal. So we have 5 and one of the sides, maybe this or this, either way, maybe you could take this as 5. We need to find the area of this particular rectangle, which is going to be length into breadth. So actually the diagonal is known, which is a hypotenuse of this right angle triangle and the base is known, we need to find the height. And how do we find the height? We have our Pythagoras theorem for our health. So we use the Pythagoras theorem over here. So if you take, so we get AB square plus BC square, which is 4 square is equal to AC square, that is 5 square. That is base square plus height square is hypotenuse square. So we get AB square, you can even take AB square as X plus 16 is equal to 25. If you want, you can take AB square as X. So you get X square is equal to 25 minus 16, which is 9. So if you take square root, it will be plus or minus 3. We don't consider minus 3 because we're dealing with lengths. They're not going to be negative. So X will turn out to be 3. That means AB would be 3. Now if AB is 3, area is going to be length into breadth. That is 3 into 4, which is 12 square centimeters. So we have actually used two formulae. One is the Pythagoras theorem to find the breadth and then area, which is 3 into 4, 12. Right. Further. Let's check what we have and yes, we do have 12 square centimeters, not a very difficult issue, quite a simple problem. What do we have next? Okay, we have a case wherein we need to divide 56 into two parts such that three times the first part exceeds one third of the second by 48. Exceeds means the three times the first part is more than one third of the second by 48. So you have 56 over here. You can take one part as x. So that means x plus the second part gives 56. So x plus the second part gives 56. So the second part is 56 minus x. Now this is suppose the first part, three times the first part, that is 3x exceeds one third of the second by 48, which means the difference between three times the first and one third of the second, which is the same as 56 minus x upon three. This is turning out to be 48. Now we'll put a bracket over here because we can predict a common mistake which most candidates have a tendency to commit. <clears throat> now, so we have three times the first part minus one third, that is this exceeds the difference between these is this. Now you take the LCM over here, LCM is three, three, one, three by one is three into three, nine X minus 56 minus of minus X plus X. We need to be careful about the signs is equal to 48. So we collect this nine X plus X, 10 X, minus 56 and this we cross multiply we have taken the entire at this stage we cannot cross multiply after you make this as a common denominator we cross multiply 3 into 48 this turns out to be 144 so that means 10x is going to be 144 plus 56 which means 10x is going to be 200. X would be 200 upon 10, which is turning out to be 20. <clears throat> so one number is 20, so X is 20, and the other one is 56 minus X, that is 36. So the numbers are 20 and 36. So we can check the answers over here. If you look three times of 20, is 60, one third of 36 is 12, 60 minus 12 is equal to 48. So the answer is going to be 20 and 36. And yes, we do have it. Okay, so we have 20 and 36 and 
simple problem. Let's move to the next one. Okay, so what we have here is a situation wherein you have the fourth part of a number exceeds the sixth part by four. The same number's fourth part is more than its own sixth part by four. So we can take the number as x and fourth part of the number means x by four. Sixth part of the number is x by six. So x by four is more than x by six by four. The difference between one fourth of the number and one sixth of the number is four. The LCM of these two is four and six is twelve. Twelve by four is three, so you have three x minus twelve by six is two, and you have two x is equal to four. Three x minus two x x is equal to twelve into four, forty-eight, and you have forty-eight. Right. So, even hence we have the answer as 48. Here it will be smarter to solve it but almost same amount of time you take to do by substitution also getting 1 fourth of 84 and 1 sixth of 84 and see the difference. So, the number is going to be <coughs> 48 and yes we do have 48. Next, okay now we have something rather big. Sum of digits of a two digit number is 10. If 18 be subtracted from it, the digits in the resulting number will be equal in such a way with the digit in tens and units place two less and two more than those of the original number, respectively. The number is what? Now, whenever we are talking about a two digit number, you have 24, for example. The digit in tens places 2 and the digit in units places 4. So we write this number as 10 into 2 plus 1 into 4. In a sense, whatever is the digit, you multiply by its place value. So you get 2 into 10, 20, 1 into 4, 40. So much the same way, suppose you have a number here whose digit in tens places x and digit in units places y, then the number is 10x plus y. So in short, the digit in tens place is multiplied by 10, the digit in units place is multiplied by 1. Suppose there is a hundreds place also, it's a three digit number, it's going to be 100 into digit in hundreds place. Now, coming to a problem here, the sum of the digits of a two digit number is 10. That means, suppose you take the digit in tens place as x this digit plus this digit together add and give 10. So obviously this digit is going to be 10 minus x. So our number is going to be 10 into digit in tens place x plus 1 into digit in tens place. That is 10 minus x. So this is going to be our number. So we'll keep this aside. Now, what is told if 18 is subtracted from it, the digits in the resulting number will be equal with the digit in tens place and units place two less and two more than that. So what does it mean? Now there could be some extra information over here. Now let us concentrate on this. The digit in tens place of the new number, new numbers digit in tens place is two less than the original number. So suppose the digit in tens place is x over here then the digit in tens place in the new number is x minus 2 and the digit in units place is 2 more than this. That means the digit in units place is 10 minus x plus 2. And it is told that the digits in the resulting number will be equal. That means this x minus 2 and this are equal. So if you see x minus 2 would be equal to 10 minus x plus 2. So this is going to be our equation. That means in the new number, whatever is the digit in tens place, which is 2 less than whatever was the digit in this, is equal to the digit in units place, which is 2 more than the digit over here. Hence, as a result of which you get x plus x is equal to 10 plus 12, 12 plus 2, 14. So you get 2x is 14 and hence x is 14 by 2, 7. So if you substitute in this particular thing, we get the number as 10 into 7 
plus 10 minus 7, which will turn out to be 70 plus 3, that is 73. So the number is 73. Now we can check it up. This condition, if you subtract 18 from this 73 minus 18 is 55. And both the digits are equal. This 5 is 2 less than this, is 2 less than this, and this 5 is 2 more than the digit in moments place. So our number is going to be 73. So this is the number which satisfies these particular condition. So our option is going to be 73 that is this. We just had to remember this topic, this particular concept that whatever is the digit in the place has to be multiplied by the place value. So if it is 732, it is going to be 7 into 100 plus 3 into 10 plus 1 into 10. So coming back to our problem, so it's good, the number is going to be 73. Let's check and yes, we have it right.